Okay, this is homework 15, problem number 22. Uh, the, here's the equation that we start out with, 2x plus 3y equals 6. And I've put the work on there to get down to the slope-intercept equation, y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. The hard part, though, is probably graphing with that fraction by plotting points. On homework 16, we'll learn a different way, which would probably be preferable to graphing this. It would probably be easier. But here's how you would do it to graph these points. Uh, you're going to pick x values to sub into the equation, and then find the, find the y values and then graph them. I'm going to show you a nice hint. First of all, I'm going to start out with 0. If I put 0 in for x, I'll have negative 2 thirds times 0, which will be 0, plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. So my first point is 0, x equals 0, y equals 2, right here. Then, um, usually, a lot of times we would put x equals 1 in next or x equals 2 in next. I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to put in 3, x equals 3. And here's why. Because this, it will cancel out uh, this denominator when we plug it in. I'll show you what I mean. If we plug in x equals 3, we'll put in negative 2 thirds times 3. And to multiply fractions, we'll put that over 1. So that'll be multiply your tops, multiply your bottoms. That'll be negative 6 on the top. 3 on the bottom, so that's negative 2, and then plus 2. Since I chose to put a 3 in there, that will kind of cancel out my denominator, making sure I have a whole number. So negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So again, negative 2 thirds times 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. The next number I'm going to choose is 6. Again, that's a multiple of 3, so it's going to cancel out my denominator nicely. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to plug 6 in for x. So I'll have negative 2 thirds times 6, which will give me negative 12 thirds which is actually negative 4, and then plus 2. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So when I plug in x equals 6, I get negative 2 out. Again, I took negative 2 thirds times 6, which was negative 4, plus 2 is negative 2. So now I graph my points. I have 0, 2 here. 3, 0, and 6, negative 2. And now I have enough points to graph my line. Now you might say, but Jana, I would have never known to choose 3 and 6 for my x values. What if I just chose 0, 1, and 2, like you've probably done on the rest of the assignment? That's fine. 0, you put in 0, x equals 0, negative 2 thirds times 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. So again, you get that point of 0, 2, right here. Now if you put 1 in for x, you're going to get negative 2 thirds times 1, which is negative 2 thirds, plus 2. Okay, think money. I'm in the hole, negative two-thirds. I have two dollars. So that means I have one and one-third. So my y value here is one and one-third. Again, when I put x, one in for x, negative two-thirds times one is negative two-thirds, plus two is one and one-third. If I put 2 in for x, I'll get negative 2 thirds times 2, which will give me negative 4 
thirds, which is actually negative one and one third plus two. So negative one and one third plus two is two thirds. So I'll still get the same line. I'm going to graph these points now. So 0, 2, that's again right here. Um, x equals 1, y equals 1 and 1 third, that's about here. x equals 2, y equals 2 thirds is about here. So you see that no matter what x points I choose, I'm always going to get points that are along this same line. So here is my line. If these fractions are confusing, don't get too worried about it. Um, as long as you know that you are choosing x points, putting them in your equation, getting y points out, and graphing your points. And that's how you're plotting these points to make a line. Hope this helped. See you in class.